Hi everyone. Um, I know a lot of you have the problem of uh, the no audio internal audio uh, sound. So I have this problem too, and uh, I got this computer from my from my uncle. He never managed to. Uh, he didn't take the time to repair it. And uh, as you can see here, uh, there was uh, an audio jack and the optical um, connection. Um, the problem was that uh, he plugged the jack, uh, it was a headphone, and uh, when he pulled it out, the connection got stuck inside. And after a couple of years trying to take it out, he couldn't. He put super glue on it, everything. So when I uh, disassembled the this computer, I wasn't able to pull it out. So what I did was I removed the jack, the audio jack from here, and uh, I still had the same problem. So I'm going to show you um, what a lot of you may uh, experience. Okay, so I have the gong, uh, like I suppose uh, everybody. So it's uh, something I just uh, discovered like uh, five minutes ago by thinking uh, uh, how is it possible to recover the sound when you don't have any more jack. So uh, I was thinking like if I had a jack, which means like this is the, the jack that was the jack that was in and inside there is still uh, the, the connector inside so um, I was thinking uh, some people had managed to resolve it by uh, plugging and unplugging the um, the the connector so if you plug and unplug sometime it will resolve uh, the problem and for other it won't do anything at all so I've been uh, messing a little bit with uh, uh, the, the board on the back so I'm going to advance you see I have uh, no sound I'm going to show you the, the what the panel says the preference when I go to audio, right towards the mouse here, when I go to audio, I have this. This is numerical output. I don't have the internal speaker. They are not there. And uh, so what I managed to do, I found out that here, over here, I'm going to show you with a little pin. Here there is this connector and this is the ground wire and this is I don't know if it's the left or the right uh, headphone um, but it's one of them and by messing around I, I found out that if you if you put so I have like uh, two, uh, two iPhones uh, clipper uh, a sim tray if you put those two on the ground right, let me put it correctly if you play a little bit like tricking the audio jack okay we are near uh, MG. It's just not easy. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, it's hard to hold with one hand, but as you can see, the sound is back. Okay, here. You see? Now it's internal. Okay, if I take out now those two pins, it will come back to numerical.
port. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a simple thing. I'm going to do a, a solder between this and the ground. Left, right, I don't know which one is it. And the ground and my internal speaker will be back. And if I want to use an audio jack, I bought this, uh, I don't know, uh, like uh, maybe uh, five or five years ago on eBay for five dollars, I think. And it's a USB um, output. I just plug it in and it immediately uh, recognizes it and that's it. So I hope for some of you who didn't find the solution after every try resetting, uh, the NVRAM uh, and uh, all the the, the combination uh, of uh, uh, you know all the the, the creepy thing uh, when you press uh, Option Command uh, PR for the PV uh, PV RAM or if you do uh, the Shift uh, Option uh, Control Option and Power to reset uh, I don't I don't know which one is it that those are not working. This is the solution that I found out to be uh, the only one for me. So it might not work for you, but uh, it's worth giving a shot. So I, I show you again which pin. So the, the main board is not disassembled. And it is this one here with this, with the ground. Okay, I don't know if this one is the ground too. Mm. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's even better. This one is a ground too. So I just have to... It will be easier. I will just continue the solder from here to here. That's it. Problem resolved. Again. Okay, so my pin is not okay, yeah. Working. Working with those two. Perfect. I'm going to solder it. Problem resolved.